Just a uh, little brief overview on uh, the solar and a bit on wiring and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got the two solar panels mounted on the roof in brackets and sealed and all. That's pretty straightforward stuff. You can mount them on a roof rack like a track mount off a roller roof rack or something like that. Uh, I've just made up my um, brackets out of aluminium angle, chunk chunk, and mounted my solar panels onto them. And I've um, riveted them onto the roof, sealed them of course with good uh, marine sticker flex. Uh, running down the wires through this panel here I found it's hollow and I found this is a good panel for me to run my wires from anything up top down to here. And this area here which I've got my starter batteries under the floor as you know, the coaster bus and uh, house batteries. I've got some temporary ones set up there. This is the wire I'm using for the solar, it's 6mm and um, or you can use 8mm, you decide. Okay, this is the uh, PV charge control, it's a Manson SPC-7130. Basically uh, this one here is a 30 amp one, so it gives me room to move if I want to put on more solar panels etc. At the moment it's float charging, so it's like a trickle feed to the batteries, because it's already charged them up. The voltage is 13.5 on the battery. And this is the PV volt, so 19.5 volts I've got coming in at the moment from the solar. Now uh, this is the uh, PC charge controller, so in here we've got the PV, which is where the solar panel wires go in, the battery, so we hook up to the battery over there, and the DC load. Um, and you can you program them so they suit your batteries, AGM batteries or I forget what you call the other ones. Um, so yeah, that's the little charge, it seems to be working okay, and the solar panels seem to be working good at the moment as well. Uh, they're also available from eBay. And the solar panels I'm using, I've got 2 by 200 watt. I've got this beautiful fuse pack here that I bought. The nice big heavy duty uh, positive and then an earth. So it powers up all these fuses, fuses which then come out to these, you know, joiners here. So these two here are for positives, these ones are for negatives. And um, they're all color coded. Yeah, put my little terminals on. This part here comes out. Pull the jack off the back, put that in there. All my wires, I've got them all labelled. This one's a spare, this one's going to the radio at the front. And we plug them in. So as I'm wiring all these through, um, I'm labelling them with little tags as well because obviously they're all red and black and it's easy to get them mixed up. Yeah, to get my first wire through, there's a there's a, a grommet hole there going in above the um, the air inside, you know the this is a deluxe model, so I pull down the, the ducting air panel, whoosh, like that. And then in there, you can find, at the top of this, there's a place you can run the wires in. I've got a bolt, a bit of wire, dropped it down. And then at the end of the wire, I tie my cables through, and I pull them through. At the moment, I've got, I don't know, heaps and heaps. I just pull through heaps because inevitably I'm going to have lights, air conditioners, you know, um, and that's the way I'm going to run my wire to that side of the bus as well, up and over. So, TV, fridge, water pumps, whatever. So I've got a whole stack of wires here. All labelled. They're all going to go to here. All fused. And up here I've got a little voltimeter. That one's just sitting in there temporarily at the moment until I eventually, whatever I've got here, a cupboard or something, I'll make this U-Butte looking panel with all my gadgets and things and that's about all. Rightio. Just showing how we make up these little um, doobie lackeys here. So we got this joiner, electrical joiner here thingy and this part here which you probably call the female part right and um, we're putting wires in the back so we put these little terminals here onto the wire that goes then into there and then into there and that makes a really nice thingy okay all right we're just going to put the wire onto these little crimpy things. There's little gold jobbies here. And um, so I strip the wire back a little bit. That's stripped back a little tiny bit too much. You just want to go back about 7 mils. But anyway, it sits in there like that. Then with your long nose pliers. Oh, f I've lost them. Pause. We bend over these little gold nuggets here, right? 
and then the ones at the back there as well. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Pause. So, there's a little gold male spade. Oh, wrong. Okay, these little female spade terminals, which hook up to our little buttons here, right? So these little male spade terminals. We strip back our wire, set it in there, then we bend over the little gold bits there and there, but just an important little tip inside your pliers, you've got that little sharp bit there. After you've got him in, just give him a little tiny um, sharp little crunch with that. Don't cut him in two. And then what that does is it creates a V and it makes it harder for the wires to be pulled through. Then it goes into the into the slot of the box. Okay, there is a right way and a wrong way. You'll figure it out. And um, then they go in there like that. And um, it makes the power. It makes things turn on and it's all good. All right, that's all there is to say about that for now. Thank goodness, eh? Thank you.